Hey guys, so today I'm showing you how I made these crispy honey garlic chicken bites. So it's crispy chicken cutlets fried up and then I top it with this yummy honey garlic sauce. So let's get started. So today I decided to use boneless chicken thighs. You could also use boneless chicken breast and just slice it in half going down the middle to make it thinner and wash your chicken and then you want to season it okay so to season mine I used onion powder garlic powder salt black pepper a little bit of paprika and ground cumin the same basic seasonings I usually use to season my chicken okay so I seasoned the chicken thighs and then you could cover that and let it marinate for one hour So next I'm showing you the things I'm using to bread the chicken. So in the bowl I have a few eggs beaten and then one plate I have some flour and I'm going to season up the flour using the same seasonings I used to uh, marinate the chicken. So a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, ground cumin and if you want you could add some paprika as well okay and mix that into the flour and set it aside. And in a separate plate or bowl, I'm going to add some panko breadcrumbs. Okay, so now I'm going to bread the chicken. So I'm going to dip it into the flour mixture. Coat both sides with the flour. Shake off any extra flour on the chicken. And then you're going to dip it into the egg mixture. Alright, after you put it into the egg, you're going to dip it into the breadcrumbs and make sure it's fully coated shake off any extra breadcrumbs lightly shake it off and then what I did was I placed it on my cooling rack or like a cookie sheet on top of a baking sheet and, and you're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes okay this part is very important so that the coating on your chicken sticks really well to the chicken and that the breading doesn't fall off All right, so once the chicken is, all of the chicken is breaded and it rests for 30 minutes, we're gonna get ready to fry it up. So I'm getting my frying pan and I'm placing it over medium heat. Once the pan is hot, I add it in my oil. Once my oil is nice and hot, you want it to be hot, you're gonna add in the pieces of chicken and fry them up, okay? So I fried mine for about five minutes on each side until it was nice and golden brown all right once the first side gets golden brown you flip it to the other side and finish cooking it until it's nice and crispy once the chicken is finished frying i place them on a plate line with paper towels too uh so the extra oil can drip okay so now i'm going to show you guys how to make the yummy honey garlic sauce to coat the chicken with okay and this sauce you can use it for all types of things like you can use it for fried chicken wings you can use it for baked chicken wings salmon yeah so to start I'm gonna place a little bit of butter in my saucepan and then I'm gonna add a few cloves of minced garlic and about a tablespoon of freshly minced ginger and give that a mix and I'm gonna let it cook for about two minutes or so so just so that the garlic and the ginger can start to release this flavor a little bit smelling good you know and then I'm gonna add in some honey so you want to add in the honey some soy sauce and some rice vinegar give that a good stir mix everything together and let that cook for about three minutes or so so that all the flavors can combine together and the sauce is gonna start bubbling and let it thicken just a little after three minutes in a separate bowl I mix about a tablespoon of cornstarch with some a little bit of water not much okay and you mix that into a nice little paste and then you're gonna pour that into the sauce to help the sauce thicken give it a good mix and once the sauce thickens to a consistency you like that is it for the sauce you guys pretty simple 
and absolutely delicious you can always taste the sauce and see what you want to adjust in it or you could also add in some fresh um, some crushed red pepper flakes into the sauce as well okay and that is it for the sauce okay so now back to the crispy chicken so what I'm gonna do now is cut up my chicken because remember I said I was making crispy fried chicken bites so they got to be cut up you guys so I'm just gonna get my knife and just cut it into some strips so you can leave them as chicken strips or you could cut them basically vertically and then horizontally to make some like little squares okay so yeah cut up your chicken and I at so this point what I'm gonna do is drizzle the chicken put them on a plate and drizzle them with as much of the sauce as you'd like coat them in the honey garlic sauce and that is it you guys the reason why I didn't say to put it in like a bowl and then add the sauce and like give it a good shake or mix is cause you would have to be very careful you can't shake it cause then it'll kind of start to break up the batter on the chicken but if you want, you can maybe put it in a bowl and use a spoon and give it a, a light stir. Nothing crazy, okay? Because you don't want to break up the nice crispiness on your chicken. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this recipe. It's so delicious. I serve mine with some white rice and some sautéed veggies. If you want to see how I made the sautéed veggies, keep watching the video because I'm going to show you in a second. But basically... I sauteed some cauliflower and cabbage with carrots okay you could also roast the cauliflower if you'd like so keep watching and I'll show you that in a second all right you guys so I roughly chopped up some cabbage and I also sliced some carrots and now I'm slicing up my cauliflower okay so wash your veggies slice them up and I'm getting my frying pan and I'm placing it over medium heat once the pan is hot I added a little bit of oil to coat the bottom of the pan and you're gonna throw your veggies in the pot give it a good stir in there and after that you so today I'm seasoning my veggies with all-purpose seasoning black pepper and also some sazon okay you could also add a pinch of salt if you would like and mix the seasonings into the veggies really well and from here you're gonna let your veggies cook down to a consistency and a taste you like so if you want your veggies very soft let it cook for a good minute maybe about five minutes or so all right if you want it with a slight crisp then you would let it cook for a less amount of time but that's how I made my veggies and it paired really well with some white rice and my honey garlic chicken bites. So yeah, you guys, that's it for this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you give this recipe a try, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.